What up, what up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. It's your boy Jay, Jay Vlog TV, man. I'm checking in with y'all real, real quick, man. So, I know y'all probably been waiting, man, and waiting and waiting. Uh, I hit three years on January 15th. This past January 15th was three years in the game, man, 36 months. And I apologize for hitting y'all up on the 28th. <laughs> and I'm currently sitting here working right now, and I just was watching YouTube. And I said, man, just turn the camera on and, and, and give them an update. It's just an update. Just give it to them. Just give them an update so they can see you, they can see your hair and so forth and so on. So that's why I just popped this camera on impromptu and just said, let's just do this right now. Let's take about a couple of minutes out of my, my work day and just, just knock it out really quick. So I wanted to apologize to you guys, man, because I was really trying to get y'all a three-year transformation video, man. But it was going to take me a while because I had to go back and get all my other videos and try to chop them up and so forth just to kind of, you know, make it make sense for you guys. And while I was trying to do that, I was trying to, you know, record for my other channel because my main channel is my fitness channel. That's what my passion really lies is into fitness. So, you know, I was uh, in the gym all the time, which I'm in the gym every day. So I was recording footage and I was kind of getting sidetracked by messing with that channel, um, trying to download all the stuff for you guys so I could try to make this three-year transformation video. And I just got lost in the sauce, guys. Real talk. I just got lost in the sauce. And that's why today you get in this video. So first of all, again, I just want to apologize. I know y'all hear that noise. My son is over there playing with his little block. So it is what it is. I'm at work. I work from home, right? Um, so I apologize, but this is my dreads, man. We had 36 months. I hit that on January 15th, like I said. Um, shouts out to everybody who've been watching the video. Shouts out to all the new subscribers, man. If you're new, I really do appreciate you for subscribing and checking out the videos, man. It's going to be more videos to come. Um, I never abandoned this channel completely, obviously. I never abandoned this channel. Uh, this is one of my babies, man. This channel is my baby because it just it got all my hobbies, man. Anything I feel like posting, man, it comes on this channel. If it's outside of fitness and I want to post it, you guys going to get it. You know what I mean? So here goes my hair, man. Three years in the game. Got a little small retwist about a week and a half ago. Something small. My wife watched it because we was getting ready to go out. And I was like, you know what? My hair was, it wasn't looking bad because I don't care. Really, they, they, to me, they locks and I don't care really what they look like. You know, I don't, I personally don't care what mine look like. They don't have to be neat for me. Um, I enjoy my locks, whether they neat, whether they not neat, whether they nappy. I don't care. I just enjoy my locks anyway. So, um, but we was getting ready to go out and she likes to touch up that front piece just to make it look nice. So instead, we went ahead and did a whole AC beer rinse wash, so forth. Uh, she washed it and this was, like I said, about a week and a half ago. She washed it, uh, and then she did a watery twist on just the back, and then she always, like she do, she did the watery twist on the back, just touching them up, separating them or whatever, and then right around that front two rows, she put a little bit of the sweet almond stuff that I showed y'all all the time. Uh, she put a little bit of that around the front just to make the front look real neat, you know, and that's how we always rock it out. So the front really has, like, the main retwist, but the rest isn't. It's just, you know, just one of these with water, you know, just to separate the hair. And that is, and it is what it is. I put a little bit of heat to it just to kind of do it because, uh, just to dry, get the drying process started. Why? Because, uh, she did it. It was about, uh, eight o'clock at night. I didn't go to bed till like one that morning because I was trying to let it dry a little bit more. So I know better now not to, you know, wash my hair at eight, nine o'clock at night. <laughs> but anyway, this is my hair guys. And man, y'all don't know. I feel so bad. I apologize for the three year transformation. That's what I wanted to do, but it is what it is, right? Uh, at some point in time, I'll come back and make one, man. Who knows, man? We'll get it in. Guys, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the hair real quick, man. Uh, so here goes the front and kind of like a front top view so you can kind of see. Um, let's move to the right side. They done got long, too. Check me out now. They done got long, too. This is my right side. They done got real long. Three years in the game. Three years in the game. Let me spin. Let me spin. They go to the left side. Left side, hopefully y'all can see that. Hopefully y'all can see that. Let's move it to the back real quick. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm gonna turn my neck. Hopefully y'all can see that. Hopefully y'all can see that. Back to the front, guys. So, yeah, man, like I said, man, we three years in the game, man. I already know that uh, this month has flew by. Um, been at 36 months, this month done flew by. So, I mean, really, by the time you see this video, in reality, I'm about 17 days away from 37 months, man. So uh, I'll try to get back on schedule, man. I did say, though, that after 36 months, man, that these updates on the hair may be, like, start to kind of be spaced out because 36 months, three years was my goal a little bit, in a sense, kind of, sort of. Three years was my goal, but the main goal was to touch the shoulders. But, you know, three years for me, I feel like after three years, it's really just length. There's no more updates, really, besides just letting you see the hair. There's nothing else to talk about, really, because I feel like throughout that whole three-year process at the beginning 
you go through all the trials and tribulations with the learning if your hair, you know, marries together, you know, um, when you don't retwist it, um, you learn how your scalp reacts to certain shampoos, um, the drying out. I mean, you learn everything about your hair from thinning. You go through the whole process. I feel like three years is a full, if you have your, if you have had your dress for three years, you have been through everything. That's the way I feel. And I think after that, it just really turns into a length game. Um, and now, that's really all I'm waiting on. I mean, they're touching the back of my neck down here, you know, when I'm just sitting regular. But if you really look at it, guys, I'm like right, I'm about right here. Look at that. Let me see if y'all can see that right. Ooh, if y'all can see that right. I'm about, look at that, man. I'm literally about right from touching, like right here. I'm about that much from touching my actual shoulders on GP. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, guys, I know this video has been probably not what you wanted. I did want to do the three-year transformation, man. I hate to reiterate that over and over and over again, but I want to apologize for that. But this is what I got, guys. This is what I had. This is this is all I could do today. I really got to get back to work and finish sipping on my Mountain Dew. Well, I'm sorry, my Mellow Yellow. Um, I really got to get back to work, guys. Um, I apologize for that. Hopefully, this video has been, you know, cool enough for you guys um, to see my hair and so forth and so on, man. Hopefully, this video has been somewhat, you know, uh, I guess inspirational for my for the lockers out there, you know. Um, but in the meantime, man, I want y'all to go out there, stay locked, man. Uh, oh, and shots out, man. Let me say this before I get off of this. Let me say this, and I didn't mean to say shots. So let me say this. Y'all know we just lost uh, Kobe Bryant, man. And I just want to put this at the end of this video, man. Um, I am, I am the biggest Laker Kobe Bryant fan fanatic you will ever meet, man. And uh, just to lose Kobe the way we did, man, it, it kind of hurt my feelings. Um, I was hurt a little bit. Um, I'm still hurt now. Um, but I just wanted to say this, man. Um, I do know that we take these celebrities and we put them, and I don't consider Kobe a, a celebrity for me. I'm explaining that. But we do take these uh, celebrities and these people and we take on, you know, feelings for these types of people. And, and you know, we get bogged down when certain things happen to people that, you know, we bring into our household whether it be from the TV, whether it be basketball, rapping, whatever it is, man, we bring them into our household, man, and they become like a part of our family. And for me, Kobe had became a part of my family because um, I've been a diehard Laker fan since I was a kid, right? Um, me and Kobe only, what, three years apart age-wise, so I was able to see him, you know, doing highlights and stuff from the high school times all the way up, man. So um, everything in my household, I mean, I wore my Kobe's last night to the gym. You know, I got the jerseys, my jersey signed by the team, my Kobe jersey signed by the team, I actually got a chance to to be standing right at the stop sign coming out of Staples Center and he pulled up right there and he he wanted to sign my jersey but he did it because there's a lot of people right there um I also had floor seats at the Lakers game man to watch Kobe for his farewell tour stuff like that so you know um but I say that to say this you know we bring these people into our lives and you know bring them into our household from shooting jumpers and saying Kobe every time you shoot something in the trash can man but uh if you don't take anything else from the Kobe situation man just enjoy your life, you know, live, you got to laugh, you got to love, man, love your friends, love your family, man, you know, and just enjoy your life and enjoy yourself, man, and enjoy the time that you got on this earth because you never know when anything or something can possibly happen, man. So every day you wake up, do not take that day for granted. Do not take that day for granted, man. Get out there, live, enjoy, do the things that you want to do, man, because at the end of the day, we always, we here, and we could be gone. You get what I'm saying? And at the end, and, and even at the end of that day, just think about it. We all going to go at some point. So you might as well enjoy your life right now. You might as well enjoy the people you got around you, man, your family, your friends, man. You might as well just do it all, man, because, you know, we here one day and we gone the next, man. But with that being said, man, um, I just wanted to send my condolences out, you know, to the Brian family, man. I feel like I'm a part of the family. Hell, I feel like he was a part of my family. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. It's been your boy, Jay. Jay Vlog TV, man. 36 months in the game. About 17, 18 days away from 37 months, man. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace. I'm so sorry I can't be with you tonight. However, I couldn't completely miss the chance to take a moment to share some thoughts with all of you. The lesson I cherish the most is how important it is to love what you do. If you love what you do and it's making you happy, all the hard work and perseverance will pay off. I once had a guidance counselor 
tell me that I shouldn't play basketball, uh, that it would never amount to anything for me. His negativity towards me made me stronger. You can't stop people from trying to limit your dreams, but you can stop it from becoming a reality. Your dreams are up to you. I encourage you to always be curious, always seek out things you love, and always work hard once you find it. So with that, I'll let you carry on with your evening. Please know I'm thinking of you, supporting you, and encouraging you always. Peace.